In April 2014, the consortium of Technip and Harima Marine Contractors was awarded the Kaombo Surf EPCI project. This is a major contract for the engineering, procurement, construction, installation, and pre-commissioning of the subsea structures, umbilicals, risers, and flow lines in the Kaombo field, located in Block 32 off the shore of Angola. This ambitious ultra-deep water project is operated by Total ENP Angola with a projected production of 230,000 barrels of oil per day. The layout of the field consists of six reservoirs at a depth to up to 2,000 meters, covering an area of 800 square kilometers. The Kaombo project falls within the Technip Harima Strategic Alliance. It offers comprehensive subsea solutions through a unique combination of complementary assets, technologies and capabilities. It provides the industry with a strong and experienced contractor to address the ultra-deep water market. The Kaombo project's scope of work consists of the engineering, procurement, fabrication, transport and installation of 18 rigid risers of the single top tension riser type, including large buoyancy tanks, flexible top riser jumpers and riser base spools, approximately 300 kilometers of rigid pipe-in-pipe -pipe production pipelines and single pipe injection pipelines, and a large number of subsea structures, suction piles and steel jumpers. Harima's scope covers the riser systems as well as the deeper and heavier pipe-in-pipe -pipe production pipelines. Technip scope includes flow lines, flexible pipe manufacturing and installation, umbilical installation, hookup and pre-commissioning activities. Strong cooperation between the two companies is required on a number of scopes, which include the subsea structures and spools and jumpers. With the first oil expected in 2017, the pressure is on for all parties involved to deliver the entire project within an extremely tight time frame. To facilitate the multitude of engineering, procurement and fabrication activities, as well as the preparations for the offshore installation campaign, project offices and fabrication yards have been set up all over the world. The Technip project headquarters are located in Paris. The Harima project headquarters are located in Leiden, and a considerable share of the engineering and fabrication activities are being executed in Angola. The extensive engineering activities, both in design engineering as well as the preparations for the offshore installation, are being conducted in Paris and Leiden. With the support of engineering offices in the UK, Houston, India, and Angola. Two years of detailed engineering preceded the manufacture of the Kaombo flexible pipes, which is being realized at Technip's Flexi France facility in Le Tre. The Kaombo SSIV control cables are being armored at Technip Umbilicals in Newcastle. Meanwhile, coated line pipe provided by Tenaris Tamsa in Mexico was shipped to Angola where the production of rigid flow lines is taking place at Angloflex's spool base in Barra de Dande. Other combo fabrication activities undertaken all around the world include the fabrication of the upper and lower riser assemblies at the Isleburn Yard in Scotland and
and the fabrication of subsea structures in Spain as part of a joint Technip Heramoscope. Eighteen buoyancy tanks and ten suction piles are being made at the Lamprell Yard in the United Arab Emirates. The remaining eight suction piles are being made in Angola at Harima's own Porto Amboim Yard and at the neighboring yard of Peinal. The multi-jointing activities of Harima's pipeline scope are also being executed in Angola at the Harima Angolan branch multi-jointing factory in Porto Amboim. Finally, the rigid spools and jumpers scope is done in close cooperation between the Technip and Harima project teams. While the fabrication activities are ongoing, the project teams of both Technip and Harima are also preparing for the safe and efficient execution of the offshore installation campaign starting in November 2016 and carrying on well into 2017. Harima will be using their deep water construction vessel Balder to install the combo risers and heavier production pipelines as well as a number of the subsea structures. Meanwhile, Technip's vessel Deep Blue will install the remaining Kaombo pipelines and structures with Technip's North Sea Atlantic and Scandi Africa installing the various cables and umbilicals and the Bourbon Evolution assisting throughout the offshore campaign. In May 2015, Technip's vessel Deep Orient installed the largest LBL array in the world in preparation of the development and life cycle of the Kaombo field in the next 30 years. For Harima, the preparations for the offshore campaign included an extensive repair and maintenance program for the Balder. This took place while she was berthed in the Kaland Canal in Rotterdam and included placing the Gillet Tower back on board as well as the procurement and fabrication of numerous specific types of equipment in order to facilitate the installation of the Kaombo structures and pipelines offshore. Testing is an important part of the offshore preparations for both Technip and Harima, and this includes testing with mock-ups of the sizable combo structures. The test with a mock-up of URA front frame was performed at La Rochelle in France, where the connection between the upper riser assembly provided by Harima and the flexible jumper provided by Technip was simulated using an ROV suspended from a crane to check access to interfaces. This joint Technip Harima test was successfully performed by an integrated team, providing valuable input and a secure basis for the operations offshore. With the first Kaombo structures now making their way to Angola, the Kaombo project teams in Paris and in Leiden are all working tirelessly towards the next project milestone, the start of the offshore campaign.